Well, Coach, thanks for joining us. Obviously coming off a very big uh, sweep over St. Cloud State. Um, you know, you only give up two goals to one of the most powerful offenses in the country. How much as a team did you guys kind of need that defensive performance coming off a, a, a tough week defensively up in Denver? Well, two things I think happened. One, Aiden Falk returned to the lineup. And that's a that's a huge piece for us to get be able to have at least two pairs we can trust at all times that have lots of experience out there. And then um, the second side is Brandon Bussey, you know, remembered how to be Brandon Bussey. Not that he was bad in Denver. We left him out, to, you know, out to dry several times. But he was elite, especially on Saturday night when we needed it. I thought uh, St. Cloud controlled the first couple periods of that game. Um, not in a dominant, dominant way, but we're the better team. And uh, Brandon was there when we needed him. Your other defensemen, um, can you can you talk to the progression of what you've seen out of Jacob Bauer from the beginning of the year till now, and, and obviously Cedric Fiedler, you had a year with him last year, and, and how he's progressed as a sophomore. Well, Cedric's becoming a. Uh, it looks like to me like a pro defenseman. I think he's he's going to get paid someday to play this game. He's, you know, six three. He can skate. He competes. Um, his puck skills are are getting better by the day. His thought process is getting better by the day. So to me, he looks like a, a guy who's going to get signed here. Um, you know, probably not this year, but in the near future. Um, Jacob Bauer, you know, came in at Christmas last year with no promise of playing games and has done nothing but improve since the first day he got here. Um, he comes to the rink, he works, he's smart, he can skate. I think he's got a real quality future as well. He seemed to mesh pretty well too with with Daniel, who. Uh Obviously, get the full year in last year as well. You know, Daniel Helsendegger as well has played some real quality hockey for us. He's skating, and, you know, his best quality is his competitiveness, and I think that shows every shift. So when his game is simple and competitive, he's a real effective player. You get uh, to take a break from NCHC Gauntlet here and go out to St. Lawrence. Obviously, two very important uh, games in terms of, you know, the end of the season and the pairwise and everything. Um, do you also get to see a guy that you played with um, for a couple of years here at Western Michigan. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about uh, Brent Brecky. Well, uh, Brent Brecky and I are longtime friends, and, and as I am with lots of the coaches. But I played with uh, Brex for two years in junior, and then three years here at Western. We came in together, and and I only had the three years, but he had four, and and we've been friends ever since. And and you know he's a, he's a trusted friend of mine. He's done a great job at Saint, wherever he's been, and I think he's going to have St. Lawrence playing a real competitive uh, style of hockey. He was competitive player. I was I was a competitive player. I think our teams reflect their leadership. Um, you know, what have you seen out of that team this year? I know that they've had some tough results, but they've also had some good results. A, a one-one tie against Harvard uh, coming to mind. One-one tie against Harvard. Uh, they played Quinnipiac real tight in a four-three hockey game. I, again, they, they're competitive. Um, they're well coached. They're organized, and they make it real hard on you to score. And, and our guys better be ready for the battle. One of the uh, best aspects of that St. Lawrence team so far has been their uh, their penalty kill. They're in the top mm -hmm. ten in the country, allowing just about eleven percent there. Um, what do you see from from their penalty kill on uh, on tape, and how do you attack it? Uh, once again, I think it reflects their coach uh, for sure. It's it's a real competitive group that's willing to do whatever it takes to keep the puck out of the net. They're willing to block shots, um, win battles, and they've got some real quality goaltending as well. You had three players that earned. Uh, mm -hmm. Player of the Week awards from the NCHC this week. You already mentioned uh, how good Brandon Bussey looked this weekend, but Ethan Frank, Michael Joyo, uh, also honored by the conference. What did you think of their performances this weekend? Well, obviously Ethan's Friday night was, you know, out of this world. The four goals, one assist, and I, frankly, I think he could have maybe had a few more points. Like he was, he was that good, and frankly, that whole line was that good. You know, Drew Warad's been as consistent as anyone in the league this year that I've seen. And then Cole Gallant had a had a monster game on Friday as well to contribute to that. And and Michael Joyo is is gets overshadowed by our first team All American Ronnie Adder. But Michael Joyo is a, is a real quality defender in this league, and he adds his offense as well as anyone. And and I think you know he's a he's a guy that should be considered for all league honors. Uh, again, looking at St. Lawrence, that <clears throat> St. Lawrence, they're kind of a low scoring team. Only have averaged uh, two goals per game so far this year. Uh, is there anything you see from them offensively that that you're you're worried about your team containing. Well, I'm a little worried. I, I think we respect everyone. We don't fear anyone. And um, but we are, you know, they 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 play extremely hard. We better be able to match their passion and their work ethic and their ability to uh, get to the net and and create traffic at the net and make it hard on our goaltender and hard on our defense. Obviously, illness has been a, an issue over the last couple of weeks. How's mm -hmm. the team's health coming into this weekend? We're 
we're rebounding. We're not there yet. Um, you know, I, I think we probably had, you know, 15 guys get hit real hard, and, and most of those guys are back. Um, you know, it takes a little bit to get your body back after you've been, you know, hit as hard as we, we were hit, but the guys have looked really good in practice the last couple of days. We have quality practices. We still have a number of guys out, um, you know, two to four, depending on the day and how they feel, honestly, that aren't, aren't back up to 100% yet. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys.